learning a biography is a person's history. Hello children, so as we talked about before, we have been learning about history and history is a real story about events that happened in the past. And so we are going to learn about one of my favorite American heroes this week and her name is Ruby Bridges. When we're learning about a person in history and we're learning about events that happened in their past or their history, that is called a biography. A biography is the real story of events that happened in that person's life. So the biography we're going to read about today is about Ruby Bridges, and we're not going to learn about her entire history, but we're going to learn about a very important part of history, her history and where it began. So we're not going to read her whole life story, but we're going to read a part of it. And I think you're really going to enjoy it. So let's go ahead and read a book together. Ruby Bridges Goes to School, My True Story, written by Ruby Bridges. A long time ago, some people thought that black people and white people should not be friends. In some places, black people were not allowed to live in the same neighborhoods as white people. In some places, black people were not allowed to eat in the same restaurants as white people. And in some places, black children and white children could not go to the same schools. This is called segregation. The United States government said segregation is wrong. People should live where they want. People should eat where they want. Children should go to school where they want. My name is Ruby Bridges. In 1960, I went to kindergarten in a school for black children. I liked my school. I liked my teacher. I liked my friends. But there was a school for white children even closer to my house than the school for black children. It was the William France Elementary School. The government said Ruby Bridges should be allowed to go to the William France School. In 1961, I was in first grade. My mother took me to the France School. Marshals came with us to make sure that we were safe. Some people did not want a black child to go to their white school. They stood near the school and they yelled at me to go away. Parents took their children out of the school and I was alone with my teacher, Mrs. Henry. I loved Mrs. Henry and Mrs. Henry loved me. I was a very good student. I learned math. I learned how to read, but I wish the children would come back. Months and months passed. Then one day, children began to come back to school. At last, I had friends to play with, and I was very, very happy. Many people have read about me in newspapers and books. A famous writer, John Steinbeck, wrote about me. He wrote that I was very brave. A first lady, Eleanor Roosevelt, wrote a letter to me. The letter told me that I was a good American. Norman Rockwell was an artist who painted a picture of me. The painting has become very famous. Now I am grown up. I am married. I have children. One day, Mrs. Henry and I were both asked to be on a TV show. That was the first time we had seen each other in many years. Now we talk to each other often. Now black children and white children can go to the same schools. I like to visit schools. I tell my story to children. I tell children that black people and white people can be friends. And most important, 
I tell children to be kind to each other. Wow, boys and girls, that goes to show you that no matter what age you are, you can make a difference in our history and in life. So what a brave girl Ruby Bridges was. And boys and girls, Ruby Bridges is still alive today. As of 2020, she's uh, 65 years old and her teacher is also still alive and she is 88 years old. So as of 2020, they're still living. Boys and girls, I bet you understand now why these were my two favorite American heroes in history. One of the important vocabulary words that we learned is segregation. And segregation just means that people are separated based on the color of their skin or because of where they come from. And then another word for that is separation. Separation just means apart from. That means people with brown skin went to one school and people with white skin or fair colored skin like me went to another school. So African American students went to one school, white students went to another school. Okay, integration means that no matter what you look like or where you come from, people have a right to work with and go to the same school, which is a belief system that we hold here in the United States right now, which is something that I am very grateful for because of the things that students and people did like Ruby Bridges. That's why she's an American hero. Another word that we learned is illegal. And illegal means that it's against the law or the rules of the government. So it is now illegal to have segregation in school systems or even in restaurants and other places based on the color of your skin or because of where you come from. And courage. Courage is what Ruby Bridges had. Courage because she was brave and confident even though she was scared and unsure about what was happening and what was going on. Ruby Bridges was very, very courageous and so was her teacher to go against the grain of society at that time and stand up for what was wrong. So thank you to people like Ruby Bridges and Mrs. Henry for doing what it is that they did so that our society could be a better one today. Oh,